Welcome everyone to Melda242 and thanks for being here with me today. So today I'll be preparing steamed oxtail, white rice and steamed vegetables for my family. Stay close so that you could learn a thing or two from me. Okay, first of all, I'm going to clean the, ox the oxtail with vinegar, salt, fresh water. Cleaning it off to get all of the thing that you shouldn't eat or that's on it off. Blood and whatever else is on it that shouldn't be on it. I'm trying to get them off. I'm giving it a second rinse, rinsing off the vinegar. Nice wash. That's about five pounds. Cleaning my cutting board. Okay, right here I am dicing up some garlic to put over the oxtail. Okay, I'm chopping some onions up. Sweet pepper. Celery cutting up some celery and now putting in the salt the browning allspice red pepper flakes some cooking thyme some salt a little bit of sugar to balance the sour lime the browning, it's the lemon, the lime juice. Just put up now. I'm mixing it together with my hands. Just trying to get every piece of the oxtail coated and combined with the onion and the other herbs. Good mix. Ah, uh, boy seasoned oxtail okay I'm putting the thyme on it just pulling the leaves off after pulling the leaves off and I'm gonna put the stem right in there to cook that's not the dough because I'm gonna take them out just to get the flavor take them out after the meat is finished so I just pull the, the leaves off and just throw the stem right inside throughout the cooking process that's going to give off flavor. Giving it a, a quick a quick toss again. My hands. Getting ready to fry. They've been seasoned now for about 30 minutes. And I'm getting ready to fry them in some Crisco corn oil. Okay, now I don't need the pan. You don't need the pan to be steaming hot. You just want to have the meat sizzle as you put the meat. As you, you want to have the pan, the the oil sizzle a little bit as you put the meat in. Okay, now another thing, I am just frying it to get a little coating on the side, not to not well done. Just to coat each side, so it's not going to be well done. You cannot eat these when I take them out because they're going to be tough.
now here I'm cutting up a frozen tomato I don't know why I prefer cutting up frozen tomatoes they're easier to cut up because with the the ones that are not frozen they be slipping all over the place but I can here maneuver with this one faster and better the frozen one so I'm getting this prepared for the oxtail but they all finished so I'm taking them out of the pan the frying pan putting them onto a plate oh boy that's the last bit that's like the, at the very end of the tail boy alright that's the herbs and the seasoning that was in the pan over the oxtail I'm gonna fry that down instead of cut, instead of cutting up um, another set I use the same ones fry that down in that same pan that has all of the flavoring at the bottom all of the flavors at the bottom of the pan watch that fork now I'm gonna keep stirring it to get that flavor off of the bottom onto the herbs putting in adding in the frozen tomato putting in some tomato paste that was in the freezer I took it out because the, the, the temperature in here is cold because of the ace due to the AC it's taking a long time to thaw out so I had to just take keep scraping it off with the pot spoon we got out sufficient because I have tomato tomatoes in it as well so that's enough still scraping at it frozen hunts tomato paste I love hunts tomato paste Okay, that should do it now I'm gonna mix all of that together mm. it smells great Oof. thyme and garlic and onion and sweet pepper celery Ooh, mama. Okay, and the sauce from the seasoning, the lime juice, and all the other stuff that went into it. Had all of that into the tomato paste and the onion fried down. Let that cook down together. Then I'm gonna add the meat. Just draining off the bit of that bit of steam or juice from the oxtail that was fried now I'm coating each piece in the pan with the sauce that I made before adding water coating each piece of the oxtail nice and thick ah boy just can imagine this when it's done then it is finished. Oh my, my. Whew. Now I'm adding in the water. That's two cups. And I'm going to get another cup. It's not enough. Okay, this is oxtail and I'm not using a pressure cooker. The trick is you use a lot of herbs, onion, celery, mainly onion and celery. You cut up a lot of that over it and you let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. You might have to add a little bit more water in it. It will be soft. So I have it on medium, 
boiling away the first check because if you have the stove if you put the stove on high the water is going to evaporate too fast so I suggest you cook it on medium and just let it take its time if you don't have a pressure cooker steamed oxtail white rice and steamed vegetables thank you for watching it all the way through feel free to share this video with family and friends so that they could see what your girl is doing here in the Bahamas.